Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the bronze match, the CT Gas Real Tournament. We have Sharky versus Tristop. We are ready for game number one, so let's count them down. It's because I have to be quite normal. Uh, so quite normal, quite quiet. It's, uh, well, it's really late for me. That's the problem. And I'll be live. Forbidden for being loud. Best I can do is turn up my mic. Who cares with the Tetris on the board? So, Tristop. Tristop played very well in his semi final match. Managed to score a max out against NGC Man and lost. Shark, on the other hand, unfortunately got swept in his semi final match against Pixel Andy. However, he does have a second chance. All four players have a second chance. And as such, we'll see whether Sharky can improve his performance and be able to take home at least a quote unquote bronze medal, you could say. Oh, very high up for Sharky. Mist drops a Z piece. The longbar does come for a Tetris. This Latam for the raid. We are currently at our third match of this broadcast, which is the bronze finals. Two players who have lost their semi final match, which is Sharky and Strip. Tristan, they are at it right now for um, $92, wait, so $96. That's how much they are playing for. Uh, Tristan Pave. Very solid start to the game. 94% chance for Tetris rate. Looks like only two burns he took so far. Another Tetris for Tristop. 207,000 points. Not even at line 40. Very good pace indeed. Shark in the meantime already behind by 90,000 points and six lines ahead. And yes, that is good. Sharky. Now over 100,000 points behind. Another Tetris for Sharky. Tristop still enjoying a 90% Tetris rate. Tristop now having a long bar. A drought counter, but both players also having a long bar drought counter. They both get the long bars. Unfortunately, with no Tetris. Tetris a Sharky. He shakes his head. Not a good game for him, to say the least. 200,000 points at 74 lines. Just up in the meantime, 288 and halfway mark to transition. You can get maybe a 550k transition. Sharky, in the meantime, would be. you um, would be. He'll be pretty, um, pretty happy with a 475, I would say. It's the best case scenario for him. That long bar came at the worst time possible. Now it needs. Okay, he gets the long bar to the right hand side. Gets a double the T piece, gets a Tetris. Sharky still over 100,000 points behind. Sharky once again high up that said piece came the worst time possible. Oh, just just up arriving. Beautiful double with the O piece. Now needs J piece to the left hand side. It's a double. LJ dependent now. That S piece gave it the worst time possible. Now Tristop is on the verge of being 200,000 points ahead in the lead.
Sharky really high up and I'm not sure there's much else he can do. Nope. He will pop out and Tristock wins the first game. It is 1-0. Very unfortunate RNG for Sharky. can be evil. Dirty long bars. Ooh. Terrible long bar point. But this is why this is a best of seven. If you get one game with bad RNG, hopefully it shouldn't matter so much as you have more games to play with. Both players are ready. Let's count them down for game number two. Three, two, one, Tetris. Tristop is now three games away from earning 16% of the prize pool and taking away the bronze medal. Stop taking a safety double with the S piece, safety single with the L piece. Refuse to take triple but does take triple that time. Long bar, Tetris for Tristop. Sharky already in the early dig. Nice adjustment with the T piece. Shakes his head. OP, uh, J piece, dependency filled. And take a few skins, nice quick tap in the L piece, gets a long bar for a Tetris. Just not already enjoying an early lead of three Tetrises. Tetris for Sharky. Just up waiting for the JPs, gets it. Sharky also getting the JPs with Dependency and getting a long bar for Tetris. Lead reduced to just one Tetris. One and a half Tetrises. The player stats now clean. Building up nicely. Sharpie. Tristop. Getting a slight drought. Longbar does eventually come for a Tetris for both players. Lead reduced to one Tetris for Tristop. with equal line count, Tristop ahead by one and a half Tetrises. Sharky reaches the halfway mark with just under 250, we can maybe get a 500k transition. Tristop in the meantime reaches the halfway mark with 290, maybe get a 580 transition if he carries on like this. JP's left hand side for Sharky. Left hand side a little bit awkward but gets the OP's put to the left hand side. It's safe to triple as the drunk counter now increases. One that comes with a Tetris. Another Tetris for Sharky. I 
I think I need to do a few burns with that placement a few pieces prior. It comes up the right hand side. Attached to Sharky. Now just a triple behind that. He's also 10 lines ahead. So in terms of pace, it's still Tristop having the advantage. What was Tristop's first place now? I'm not sure. Um, I think it was Tappen. Well, I could be wrong. If he's been nothing for Sharky, I need to take another triple as the drought counter is going up. Safety double. Now almost into the 30s. Now almost into the 40s and the long bar climbs at the worst time possible. There was nothing Sharky could have done with that. Finally it opens up the right hand side again, has to bail out with a single. That's long bar over to the left hand side. Once again to open the right hand side and it gets a long bar for a Tetris into the level 19 transition. With a score of 450. He's gonna have to play that serious he's gonna have to play post transition seriously well. As Tristop is still uh, five lines behind and ahead at 80,000 points. Sharky waiting for an L piece gets a long bar, man. This J piece gets a J piece. Long bar, extra for Sharky. Nice adjustment for the O piece. Tristop transitions with a score of 585. He can play this quite conservatively. This one by this Tetris. 611. Another Tetris into level 20 for Tristop. 636. Shaki really has to play his heart out in order to catch up or hope that Tristop tops out. Tetris to Sharky. 598. 22. Touch twist up into level 21. Score of 689. Shark with the long bar depends on the left hand side as the drought counter continues and fails to quick tap the Z piece over the left hand side. And that, as I say, is that. Uh, go ahead and mulling if you want this. Trist up. This is pretty good pace. As long as you maintain uh, at least a mid 1.1, you can carry on. There would be no problems with that on my end. Aggression is the only way to play. Maybe get 900k at level 24. Which would be very serious. Ooh, that S piece came with a poor time. Need some good RNG to solve this. Okay. Get good pieces. Or another Z piece. Oh, beautiful attack with the S piece. Is Longbar pen the guest Longbar? 900k, not even at level 26. JP's? Guess the JP's. Now where's long bar? There's the long bar. Catch for Tristop. And max into level 27. Beautiful dash control, but lost dash from long bar. Had to dead drop it. Max into level 27. Now needs a J piece. Gets long bar in there. Two piece can pour time. Long bar, another long bar does come. Christophe would like to only burn one more piece, but unfortunately cannot do so. One more Tetris for a 1.1. Still like to get two Tetrises here. 
That's a 1.1. Unfortunately, it now has to set up for a centre well. And unfortunately, there's nothing else it can do. But it is still a 1.1, but it could have been so much more. It could have been a 1.15. But alas, but that's 1.1. That would be stopped at. Takes a game and is now 2 0. Two games away from winning 16%. Both players are ready. Let's count them down. Sharpie immediately setting up from the pits, gets the long bar. Portion of my soul left my body. Now waiting for another long bar. Long bar comes with Sharpie, Boom Tetris. Tristop, drag counter is going. It's the Z spin, gets long bar for 20 pieces. Tetris. Tetris Sharky. Both players stacks looking stable. Don't have much more to say. Tristop. Enjoying a one Tetris lead. Sharpie now long bar dependent on my left hand side. The drought counter going. And Sharky gets out of it, gets a Tetris in the meantime. Tristop's lead now increasing to two and a half Tetrises. Tetris Sharky, oh, gets an early death slow, very unfortunate. Gets a nice skin, maybe go for the guideline well. Has the guideline well set up, now waiting on the long bar. Gets the long bar, gets the Tetris. Meantime, still maintaining a 75% Tetris rate, one and a half Tetris lead, and behind by four lines, two Tetrises in a row. And now say that Tristop is ahead by about two and a half Tetrises. More burning for Sharky, unfortunate. Waiting for Lombard, guess what I'm going to call them nine, get the dirty Tetris. Which is the halfway mark with 2.30. Just not yet to reach the halfway mark yet. I said yet twice. Double yet. Tetris, 300,000 at the halfway mark. We get a 600k transition. Sharky, long got pen on the left hand side. May decide to go for the left well, but the long bar does come and fills it in back to the right hand side. Tetris for Sharky. Another Tetris for Sharky. Oh, this not still maintaining a solid 2.5 Tetris lead. Line difference. All grown up to be correct in the double yet. Technically true, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Sharky once again is into a dig. Not what he wants, especially at this stage. He does not want to be behind 3-0 once again in both the semi-finals and the bronze match. But against the left for Tetris, Dirty Tetris. Looks like Sharky is now going for the left well. It's a long bar right at the perfect time. And it is a perfect transfer back to the right hand side. As Tristop is now over 100,000 points ahead in the lead. Now we're now talking about about 6 to 7 Tetrises in the lead. As Sharky now has a double long bar dependency. Who's one of them? Sharky now very close to the transition, both players are. Tristop already reaching 600,000 points, still has two Tetris to go. He can get a 650, which is serious pace. A special game can happen off a 650. Sharky meantime transition score of 464. The long bar drop counter in show. That's a quick tap with the T piece. 6 3 3 transition for Tristop. Serious pace, he can play this very safe if he wants to. Sharp in meantime has to pretty much play his heart out and most to try and catch up. Sharpie very high. Gets the LPs over to the left, or at least the LPs to the right does so. Nice long bar skin. Very good survival by Sharky, but unfortunately, it does mean that he falls further behind. Now over 200,000 points behind. Ah, oh, Tristop gets beautiful RNG. Double J dependency gets two J pieces in a row. You couldn't ask for better RNG than that. 798 into level 22 for Tristop. This is solid 1.2 pace. for Tristop. 800,000 at level 22. Now level 23. Level Tetris for Tristop. 300,000 points in the lead. At this point the game is already almost over. We're not even at, we're at just at level 24. Six, eight, nine, seven at level 24. Sharky's still surviving. The fortune is just getting too high up. And Tristop, you earn the right once again to mull in this game. As it is possible to max out into level 26. Piece. Oh, gets a quick tap. It's a safety double, gets a Tetris, max out at level 26. All these O pieces came at an unfortunate time. Dirty center well in progress. That's a long bar. Needs another long bar, gets it. And he's a T piece. Still waiting for the T piece. T piece does not come. And Tristop with a back to back 1.1. But unfortunately, the 1.2 is dead once again due to a lack of a T piece. back 1.1 for Tristop. He takes game number three.
Drought to TV Skier. Very nice game for Tristop once again. I definitely have strong potential to get a 1.2. And Shanky once again needs to win four games in a row, while Tristop only needs to win one more. Both players already. Let's count them down. In the three, two, one, Tetris. I will say this, just for the benefit of Sharky, the match is never over until it's over. It's never over until the fat lady sings, as the saying goes. Keep on fighting to the very end. Because you never know, something special might always happen. Sharky this time with a very good start, 100% Tetris rate. And this time Tristop with a few burns to start off with. Already behind by one and a half Tetrises. for both players. Sharky taking the first burn of this game. An L spin, as long as I guess Tetris. Tetris for both players. Lead has been reduced to half a Tetris. My single skin for Sharky. Both players uh, surpassing or very close to 200,000 points. Passing line number 40. Sharky maintaining a half a Tetris lead. So far, a solid start by both players. Over 80% Tetris rate. Tetris for Tristop. Tetris for Sharky. Maintaining a half a Tetris lead. Sharky now waiting for an alternating LJ dependency. It's three J uh, L pieces in the row now waiting on the J piece gets the long bar. It's two long bars in the row from the Tetris. Three, four, nine for Chalky. Maybe get a 700k transition. Maybe. Tristan mean that while he's doing a 650k transition. Both players at a very solid pace indeed. Lead still technically only at half a Tetris. Sharpie now has long bar drop counting, gets long bar, another long bar by both players. And now Tristop has a Tetris lead in terms of pace, it has shifted due to the long bar drought that Shark has suffered. Both players at over 85% Tetris rate. Serious pace for both players. You don't see this very often. Another Tetris for Tristan, another Tetris for Tristan. Both players already passed 500,000 points. 
Astra Stop still technically has the better lead. Sharky waiting for an LPs gets the LPs. Misses a spin. Unfortunate. Does get an O piece. Now could go for a column eight. Well, but decides to bail out it with a triple instead. And as such, Sharky falls a little bit further behind in terms of pace as Tristop already reaches 600,000 points at 116 lines. Proving that uh, <laughs> he, he's, he is something special to say the least. Sharky 637. At 129 lines, he can get one more Tetris. Both players at Pogger's pace, I must say. Sharpie transition score of 6 6 1. And Tristop can still beat that. Tetris for Tristop, 6 5 5. You can still get one more Tetris. Waiting on the long bar for Tristop. Gets longer. Tristop transitions with a score of 6 7 9. Tristop has a slight piece lead. Oh, Chucky wanted to try and night spin that. Both players are at serious pace. 700,000 at level 20, uh, 719 for Tristop. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I would play that song if I could. Both players at serious pace. Tetris for Tristop, 791. Tristop still technically in the lead. Oh, Tristop, a little bit dangerous. Tristop's in a lot of danger. Tristop needs a long bar or dies. Tristop, Tristop fails to get the long bar. And Sharky takes the game. Tristop had 1.2 pace at level 22. Went really aggressive. The long bar just didn't come. So now, Sharky, it's your opportunity to mull in this. But unfortunately, both players tops out with pop pace, and that is just the way it goes for the DAS player. But Sharky does take the game, and the, and the broom of the reverse sweep is now on his hands. Oh, what a game by both players. There was there was a chance that both players could have won 1.2 and if that had happened the DAS competition world record would have been completely crushed but alas game number 5 in 3, 2, 1 Mm. Shit, my head dressed up, you started early, but no matter. Alright, both players having to do a few burns. Sharking now, long bar dependent. Oh, blocks up the long bar dependency. Sharky's in a lot of trouble now. Immediately. Oh, misses a quick tap the left hand side. Oh, Sharky gets bailed out with some long bars. It's a good RNG for once. That could have been instant death for Sharky. I think there was about a 40% chance that that could have been it straight away. Alas. 60% is where we are right now, and if the game continues, the match continues. The 
once again with Sharky in the bit of a dig. Trying to get rid of the hole in the left hand side of the stack. But successfully does with double J pieces. Sharky takes a Tetris. Another Tetris for Sharky. And in terms of lead, Sharky is at a half a Tetris lead as Tristop is actually having a sucker start for once with a mere 25% Tetris height. Both players with a sucker start this game. Tetris for Tristop. A mess on both sides, indeed. Sharky trying to go for the centre well. That's J piece in that place and now this is the best piece to the right hand side or a T piece now waiting on the long bar drought counter continues for Sharky makes a single skim oh, the long bar comes at the wrong time as it always does the other long bar does come however and Sharky takes a Tetris Really suffer game for both players. Not even at 200,000 points for both players into the halfway mark. If we see a 450k transition for by either player, they have done a good job on the second half. Tetris for both players, both players are neck and neck after 75 lines. Difference of just a mere single. Sharky with a long bar comes in the left hand side, gets a long bar. And a Tetris for Sharky. Just on the meantime, now has a long bar. Drop counter going up at 26 pieces, gets a long bar. And once again, both players are just a single apart. Ooh, Tristan hangs and opens to the left hand side. Stack still accessible, but Petrus now needs to find another one on the left hand side. James Chen trying to send you with slow glide, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. You'll be thinking how did players get so good? I mean like 1.1 to that 1.1? Ooh. Wait, that wouldn't have mattered. Um, because you can only get up to a max out. I remember, if you, if you score a max out, there's a certain point where um, if you score the max out, that's it. And if both players score a max out, the game is considered a tie. And I'm not sure when that was implemented, when the, when the max out plus matter. Both players are very close to transition and they are still neck and neck with each other, just a single apart once again. It will be all down to post transition play. Sharky must win this game once again in order for the match to continue. Sharky in the middle of trouble. There's a beautiful burn, now waiting on the long bar. Takes a safety triple. Nice quick tap on the long bar, 7 high. Creates a long bar dependency at column number 4. Then Tristop transitions very high up. Takes a safety double with the SPs, it was a force double. And now Tristop with a long bar drought. After 29 pieces, the long bar fails to come. And Sharky now just needs another single to take the game. Sharky takes a Tetris and Sharky has won the game. Now 3 to 2. Sharky has done half the work. Now must win two more games to take the reverse sweep. Alright, both players have rested. Both players are ready. 
can get on in game number six. Let's count them down. All possible seven. Three, two, one. Tetris. Okay, snacks. Uh, very stable, very clean. Uh, Tristop with a one Tetris advantage so far. Tristop that ends after 16 pieces. That's just for him. Nice T spin, nothing for Sharky. Tucks the J piece, tucks the L piece. In terms of pace, they are both neck and neck of each other as Sharky is four eyes ahead. Tristop with a long bar, drought counter going. Now Sharky is enjoying the lead of about half a Tetris. Tetris Sharky maintaining an above 80% Tetris rate. 250 by 50 lines. Tetris up the Tetris, 240 by 50 lines. Nice series of tucks for Sharky. Takes a Tetris and does not go for the Van Dweller approved um, line spin. He'll be forever disappointed. Sharky a little bit high up. Let's get along back as Tetris, which is halfway mark with 3, uh, 2, 7. Definitely get a 650k transition. He carries on like this. Just on the meantime, 288. Waiting for a T piece but bails out of it. Can maybe get a 550k transition. He carries on like this. Tristop has to tap that long bar through. Another texture of Sharky. Taking line differences, uh, line count differences into account, they are still very close to each other. Perhaps Sharky with just a half a Tetris lead. Tetris for Sharky. The player is maintaining about a 75% Tetris rate. Could be down to post transition once again. Sharky with a bit of a mist drop on the O piece to the left hand side. Tucks the J piece in, decide to do that. Creates a long bar dependency now. And this will take a few burns to solve. Tristop also has a long bar dependency. And that is not a Tetris well. The best he can do is a triple. Takes a triple with the J piece. Tristop now. Tetris ready once again on the traditional right hand side. The 
instead of a sharpie, 10 lines ahead and only a triple ahead, so Tristan now has the base lead. Sharpie is now just one touch away from transitioning 500,000 points, and maybe get a uh, 540 if he tries to this again. Sharky does so with the Tetris, transitions with scroll up 5, 4, 2. We'll see what he does post transition. Tristan, in the meantime, is still two Tetrises away. It's the same for Trevor, now just one Tetris away from transitioning. Tristan having to take a few burns. Opens up the right hand side, gets along by this Tetris. Transitions with scroll up 5, 6, 7. Tristop is in the pace lead into the post transition. We'll be able to chart to see what he can do to try and catch up in terms of pace. He may have the lead in terms of raw score, but Tristop is um, 11 and a half behind. He can most certainly catch up. Level Tetris with Sharky, 657 into level 22. That's max out pace. Oh, Tristop lost that spin, that LP to the left hand side, had to dead drop it. And Tristop a little bit swallowed up, but that OP is beautiful, beautiful series of burns. Guess what, I guess Tetris, 656, six, still at level 21. Tristop played in the long bar to Penzi at level 22, at column number 2. A little bit dicey, uh, bails up the triple. Still waiting on the long bar gets the long bar, puts in column number two. Now Sharky a bit high up, gets a row three, dirty Tetris. Another Tetris at level 24. And now it's safe to say that Sharky has the pace lead, even taking into account line differences, as Tristop has been burning for quite some time. Takes a safety triple, 720 at level 24, still so that's the pace. Sharky takes a Tetris, 817 and level 25, never touched for Sharky. Tristan might be going so to guard, does so as long bar jack comes all comes at the worst time possible. Another one does come for Tristan, Tetris, 755, and the center guard, so Tristan is the long bar, this Tetris. Sharky, in the meantime, takes a safety double. And that drought for me. I can take a few skins. Nice O piece. Nice series of skins. That's a Tetris. 929 at level 27. Sharpie needs a T piece, gets a T piece. Alright, Tristop still catches up now. Sharpie waiting on the long bar for another dirty Tetris. Does get it at level 28. All early death load. Sharky might have to go row free. Tristop now at over 100,000 points high, but very high up. It's Tetris. And uh, Tristop can most certainly beat this with uh, two death. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Tristop lost das. Had no das in long bar. He could have eaten it with um, two Tetris and change. But yes, this game is worth $92 and both game both guys ready. Let's count them down in this best of one match. In three, two, one, Tetris. Ninety-two dollars is the difference. If one player 
if you win, if either player wins this game, they double it. They double what they already have. Dirty Tetris for Sharky. Takes a single to transfer it back to the right well. This is it. No more early top outs. It's disastrous if you end up doing that. Instant loss. Just open a little bit of spot of honor, gets a nice series of tucks. Shark meantime with a beautiful stack. Go tap left. Now just bring in a few pieces. It's a single skin, takes a double. Comes ready with a long bar. Guess long bar, guess a Tetris. Tristan, now going for row two instead. Ooh, what a quick tap with that O piece on the left. Say no, it's not full. It's just short for mathematics. Back in the game, both players very close to each other. Uh, Tristan maintaining the road to slightly di dirty Tetris setup. Sharky at row number one. But having to take a few unfavorable placements with these pieces. Chris stop now in a bit of a spot of bother. L piece, long bar does come. Both players in a bit of trouble actually. If you want to take the money, you must survive. Tristop does survive and looks like Sharky will survive too, so the game continues. Perfect transfer, Tetris and Sharky. Both players still very close to each other. Just the difference of a mere triple. Did I hear Spotted Bobber? Yes, he did. And you know what I'm going to say next? Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Shiver me timbers. That's it. Sharky gets along that, gets Tetris. Just stop likewise, still at row number two. And in terms of pace, Trist stops slightly ahead. Perhaps you can say a half a Tetris pace lead. All early dash load for Sharky, but fixes it in a most elegant way. It was as if the mistake never happened. Tetris for Sharky. And now both players are getting close to transition. Less than 20 lives to go. This is it. The final game of the bronze match. Sharky gets a nice J piece. Three O piece in a row, but L piece does come. Tetris for Tristop, two Tetris to go. Sharky gets a Tetris, one single to go. Both players still quite close to each other. Oh, Sharky barely survives it. That could have been instant. The game continues. Have to do a few buttons now. Gets the L piece over. Tristop likewise now transitions to level 19, slightly ahead in pace. 
or shark with an early gas load. Unfortunate, still surviving. This is tense for both players. It has come down to the final post transition. This is it. Sharky 50,000 points behind. A little bit dangerous, but gets a long bar closer to the right hand side for a Tetris. Or Sharky going extremely dangerous. Needs a long bar. Needs a long bar. Oh, guess the quick tap. The game continues. Death to find long bar. Quick tap. Still behind by 50,000 points as Tristop with a nice solid stack. Sharky needs to find a way to clean this out. Oh, beautiful T um, spin tuck from Sharky. He needed to hit that. Sharky getting extremely aggressive. Where's the long bar for Sharky? Gets the long bar. Now perching on 100,000 points behind. Gets the quick tap. Tetris for Sharky at level 25. Going for column number 8. Single Tetris for Sharky. Still 100,000 points behind. Gets a nice transfer back to the right well. The optimal, the optimal well for scoring points. Tristop. <gasps> Tristop early tucks the long bar. This is big, big. Oh, Tristop early tucks long bar, and that's instant death. That's what happens when you're a desk player. Sharky just needs Tetris to win, and Sharky takes the match. He has successfully reversed sweat Tristop. Being behind 0 to 3, taking the match to 4 to 3. Instant death misdrop from Tristop. That is what all it takes when you're a dust player. One mistake, and that's it. That is all it takes. One mistake, the game is over. Sharky has successfully won four games in a row. Take the bronze medal. Very well earned. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.